In Epicor ERP, you must check out a part to an ECO group in the Engineering Workbench before you can make changes to its method. In this video, learn how to enter a new ECO group. Navigate to the Engineering Workbench. Click New. On the ECO group sheet, enter a group ID and description. If applicable, enter the engineering change order number associated with this group in the ECO field. You can use the Mass Assign option on the Actions Group menu to assign this ECO number to all part revisions that are checked out to this ECO group. The due date is the date that the revisions in the group are due to be completed. Today's date is the default, but it can be changed. Enter the date directly or use the calendar to select one. The completion date is the date that the revisions in the group were completed. The effective date is the day that the revisions in the group become effective. Next, enter a workflow group to assign to this ECO group. This group establishes the default task set and salespersons assigned to the ECO group. If necessary, select a task set to be used for the group. The default task set assigned to the workflow group automatically populates the field, but it can be changed to another set with a type of ECO. The Checkout Allowed checkbox is selected if any of the milestones associated with the default task set assigned to the specified workflow group have their Checkout Allowed checkbox selected. This field is for display only. Similarly, Check In Allowed is selected if any of the milestones associated with the default task set assigned to the specified workflow group have their Check In Allowed checkbox selected. This field is also for display only. Workflow Complete is selected if any of the tasks associated with the task set assigned to the ECO group have had their Workflow Complete checkbox selected. This field is for display only. Save the ECO group. 